Well, what if I didn't like how big that thumbnail was? But I didn't want to use the medium because that was too big. Well, if you remember from our beginner class, we have a thing called image styles. And image styles are amazingly powerful in Drupal. We now have an image on our taxonomy as well. So let's take a look at fixing up our taxonomy. So structure taxonomy. And if you remember, click on list terms for landmarks. And each of our terms has an image. The image style that we used for our taxonomy was medium 220 by 220. Well, let's make that a little bit bigger. Well, I want it to be 300 by 300. Well, that doesn't exist. All right, we can fix that. Let's head over to configuration, media, and image styles. I'm going to add an image style. We've done this before in the beginner class. I'm going to call this taxonomy. 300 by 300. Taxonomy being what I'm using it for and the size. So now I'm going to scale this to 300 by 300. I'm not going to allow upscaling. Click Add Effect. And so now my 800 by 600 image is going to be 300 by 225 and the scaling works that way. All right, structure, taxonomy, landmarks, manage display. Click on the gear for the landmark picture and change it now to my taxonomy 300 by 300. I could have also just clicked here to say configure image styles. Click update and save. And now when I go ahead and click on landmarks, my image is 300 by 300. So image styles are powerful. You can use them on any entity, any managed display, which means content types, taxonomy, users, blocks, etc., etc. Anything that's an entity in Drupal can utilize image styles because they are now fieldable, giving you complete control over the size of your images, no matter what the display or what the layout.